Oh my goodness, I'm Max Garcia. Today is April 24th. It is a Friday, and in a couple hours, it is the start of the second round of the NFL draft. I gotta say, it is just how like perfect by design the NFL draft is to take place over a couple days because it's just taking me out of any realms of this cataclysmic event going across the world. I'm just loving sports right now, even though it's not truly sports. And yes, the dream scenario did happen yesterday as a Miami Dolphins fan. Just let's roll my guy Doug's reaction. Oh God, here it is. Here it is, I gotta put the pillow down. Select. Tua Tonga by Lola! <laughs> yes! They selected Tua! Yes! 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 So the TikTok I made about two months ago came true. And two things to note on this side, I put stickers on my Visco Girl water bottle and Oh my gosh, these final episodes of Star Wars The Clone Wars on Disney Plus, spectacular. But talking about rounds two and three in the draft, I'm gonna talk about what the Miami Dolphins are thinking for their draft strategy today, and I'm gonna roll out my little predictions. And as of right now, the Miami Dolphins have two second round picks and one third round pick, although I'm keeping my eyes out for a trade down from 39 and maybe a trade into the back end of the third round. I'm looking out for that. So we have pick 39, pick 56, and pick 70. Yesterday, in the first round, the Miami Dolphins grabbed their franchise quarterback. They grabbed a tackle to protect that franchise quarterback. I love when Roger Goodell was like, oh, we got some help for Tua. Help for Tua, that was comedy gold right there. And then with the last pick, we. Kind of surprised, but we got some more depth at corner. And since the NFL is just kind of going to an all-out passing attack, like four wide receivers lined up, I'm not surprised with the pick because we kind of need better talent at cornerback for the third guy better than Nick Needham, although I do like Nick Needham. So talking about the strategy today, I think we just have to grab running back in the second round whether that be the 39th or the 56th, whether that be DeAndre Swift, J.K. Dobbins, or Jonathan Taylor. My heart lies with Dobbins. He's my favorite running back out of the three, but I'm f fine with either one. You just got to get that running back. Pair him with Tua. Oof, the offensive backfield is gorgeous. And also, I think with the 56th pick, you could be looking at safety if... There's somebody on the board there, like Ashton Davis, kind of have a couple of Dolphins connections. We could also be looking at interior defensive line, maybe Curtis Weaver there, Boise State product. I like his character. We could also be looking at some help on the interior offensive line, whether that be Tyler Bidash to help connect with Michael Dieter, maybe Matt Hennessy, Lloyd Cruisenberry. I'm looking out for those center guard combos, maybe Damian Lewis. So my full-on prediction for what I think is going to happen, Dobbins 39, Matt Hennessy center out of Temple with that 56 pick, and then at 70, I wanted to say Curtis Weaver so bad, but I just don't think we're going to pick defense alignment here. Maybe fourth round for sure, we're going to go into tight ends and all that st stuff, but that's tomorrow. And with that 70th pick, I think we're going to pick Damian Lewis. We got to triple down on that offensive line. Just that, keep that mindset. Help to uh, any way possible. We already got the receivers. Maybe pick up that SMU slot receiver with the trade into the end of the third round. But I'm, I'm excited. This NFL draft is interesting. They made the production quality super good yesterday. Roger Goodell actually looked like relatable. He wasn't this untouchable character. He was actually being a human being in touch with his feelings. And when like at the beginning he was like, oh, come on, I, I can't hear you, boo. And he's like, oh, I'm sure you're doing that at home. Just keep on going. So who are the 
Dolphins are going to draft today? Could they just go best player available at the 39th pick? Maybe get Yuta Gulos Matos or AJ Vanessa? Interesting. I, I don't know what the Dolphins are going to do, and I like that. They keep me on my toes because with that third pick yesterday, that was definitely not to a glaring need pick. So I'm interested to see what they do today. And I don't know why I have this little feeling in my heart, but I'm scared of what the Patriots are going to do today. They got a second and third round pick. They could be drafting this guy right here, Jalen Hurts. I wouldn't want that because I believe in Jalen Hurts. I would kind of want them to get Jake Fromm. He's kind of more like a similar player to Tom Brady. Not crazy arm strength, but really high IQ. Anyways, let's dive in to this 2020 NFL Draft rounds two and three. Max is going to be looking at this later. I'm giving my predictions right now. I know exactly who we're going to draft. We're going to draft um, DeAndre Swift with our first, second round pick. We're going to draft a um, Curtis Weaver with our second, second round pick and our third round pick. We're going to draft a receiver. A good receiver, like a really good receiver. Trust me. And uh, Maxwell's picks are terrible. Let's go triple picks, offensive line. Center, guard, guard. And then trade up for Curtis Weaver. I'm a proud brother. And we are done on the day two Miami Dolphins picks. We are building up those trenches. Something that Dolphins fans have been wishing for ever to do so. And we got Robert Hunt with our 39th pick, a guard slash right tackle. Then we picked up Raycon Davis, defensive tackle out of Alabama with the 56th pick. And then with the 70th, we picked up a safety who I didn't really know this prospect coming into this draft. But apparently he memorized most of the team's playbooks in the offseason leading up to the draft. Interesting. And J.K. Dobbins was picked one pick in front of the Dolphins at 56. That kind of hurt my heart there. We're probably going to go running back, tight end, receiver tomorrow. <sighs> Interesting draft choices. I haven't picked a single one right other than Tua. All right, thank you for watching. Make sure you bless some Peace out. Man, I look like a completely different person when I shave. I figured why not hit you with my day three analysis in the same video as a day two analysis. And the NFL draft is now complete and I am proud of what the Miami Dolphins did. They didn't do those flashy picks like receiver or running back or tight end, but they stuck to the trenches and they built that up. And I gotta say, one of my favorite players, Curtis Weaver, is now a Miami Dolphin, and I'm so proud in that. The Miami Dolphins traded up to get Curtis Weaver. I literally said that in this video. Kind of as a joke, but like, I got my Boise State shirt. Oh, man. I love Curtis Weaver. One of my favorite prospects in this draft, along with Tua, Dobbins, and a couple others. And with the draft complete, we saw the evolution of Roger Goodell's comfortableness. I know some of you have asked about the M&Ms. They're still within reach, and they are getting lower. I promise you. We saw Cliff Kingberry's house. We saw Bill Belichick's dog. We saw how Mike Rabel likes to spoof up some fun. And we saw Brian Flores' family. I really liked seeing Brian Flores' kids. Them dabbing up, the thumbs up, just all smiles from Brian Flores. He's building his dynasty. And of course, there's a couple 2021 way too early mock drafts out there. Jalen Waddle, Jamar Chase, and Trevor Lawrence. But that's a year away. I gotta enjoy this draft. And starting in the fourth round, we drafted another offense alignment, and I'm not complaining at all. Build that wall for Tua. I'm so glad that the Dolphins invested 
three picks out of the four top rounds in to offensive linemen. So with the first pick of day three, we got Solomon Kinley, a guard out of Georgia. He's a little shorter, but really big and thickly built. And then we drafted a defensive lineman out of North Carolina. I had no idea who that guy really was. And then we got Curtis Weaver. Then we got Malcolm Perry, receiver slash running back slash quarterback from Navy. Then we traded our seventh pick for a 2021 sixth round pick to Seattle. I thought that was a great trade. Who else did we get? Yeah, I think that that's all we got. We just got those four selections. A very good draft for the Miami Dolphins. I'm proud of their picks and our future. It's looking good. And I gotta say, I got Netflix for the very first time this month in April. The very first time I've owned Netflix. Crazy, right? And I just watched Tiger King. So odd. So unusual and so crazy that that has actually happened in this world. Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure you bless them. Peace out. And I almost forgot to mention that we traded our fifth round pick for Matt Breida. I think that's a really good trade. Since we didn't draft a running back, we got two youngsters in the backfield in Jordan Howard and Matt Breida. Not elite talent at running back, but all we need is for Ryan Fitzpatrick to not become the leading rusher for our team. And then I think that's an upgrade. And then maybe we'll dive deep into the 2021 draft and get Travis Etienne. I don't know who knows the future. I'm just glad we got to a... Uh... <sighs>